those who are new to the channel please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon friends let's do something very interesting today I'm going to do an a collect painting with a credit card <laughs> i know some of you guys would think why credit card this guy is asking you to use a credit card not debit card guys you know the difference right credit card allows you to spend more than you have in your hand the same way if you draw with this card you will get more creativity and imagination and you can make a beautiful painting so that's a great idea so credit card is a must guys <laughs> i'm kidding so guys the idea is to just use a plastic card which is flexible so use any flexible tool instead of a palette knife so other thing we need is acrylic colors just showing here how in 2014 it was 180 and now the price was shoot up to 200 so I'm using uh, acrylic colors and uh, this card to create a uh, beautiful painting. As usual, we are starting with the sky. So sky on the left side, I'm trying to draw the right side of the sky. Uh, so mostly the colors I'm using uh, is uh, Russian blue and uh, uh, ivory white. So you can use any similar colors, dark blue, color blue or uh, titanium white. So that creativity is up to you guys. Can use your own creativity. So my plan uh, is to draw uh, kind of uh, landscape uh, during uh, cold season or winter season. So, guys, the whole idea of this painting is to retain the texture. So uh, I'm going to draw the full painting with credit card alone. There's no brush or any other medium used. So try to retain some textures. I want to make this painting look so dynamic a little modern too so keep the textures a little bit so for the sky i'm not um, using very hard texture here little bit mixed and um, you can see how we are mixing light blue and uh, white and uh, different colors but you can see a little bit of uh, straight line textures in the uh, paint so to come to uh, the lower part of the sky you can use a little bit of uh, lemon yellow mixed with white and uh, um, yeah, either canvas blue or Russian blue to create a little bit greenish and a mild sky. So uh, that part. Uh, so I'm uh, directly mixing the colors here to you know, let's get it mixed properly, guys. So here, uh, main other main thing to know is we are going to use uh, the turn bed method. We're not waiting for the colors to get dry fully. You can see each color gets uh, mixed with the previous one and gets a very good uh, uh, color grading out here. So try to use this technique and I'm not using much of water here. So mostly um, it's the uh, direct acrylic uh, colors. So uh, unless you want to create a watercolor kind of uh, texture, no need to use uh, watercolor here. So other part is to uh, create the mountain. So I'm start creating some mountains here. It is very very useful when it comes to creating very uh, rough and uh, rent structures like the mountains, hills or plateaus or the forest kind of stuff. You can see how the uh, rent structures are coming up uh, in the mountains. Uh, other thing when you use this kind of flexible card is uh, you have a different lengths, you have some corners. Uh, there are two different lengths available and then you can use the corners and they use the flexibility to create a very uh, So some more areas I'm mixing a little bit of burnt sienna and, uh, and lemon aloe and white so to give kind of um, grayish and uh, mountain uh, colors. So for the darker areas mostly I'm mixing uh, burnt sienna and uh, Russian blue. So uh, you can see how the red structures of the mountain coming up nicely. Gives a very very good uh, uh, look for the mountains. It gives a very dynamic look. So utilize this card as much as possible. Uh, it gives a different type of textures compared to the palette knife. Uh, you know the palette knife shapes. Uh, it can have a little roundish textures, straight line textures, and uh, it has its own use. Uh, but using this card will give you a little more flexibility. Uh, a lot of straight line, bigger straight lines, and uh, I can use the corners to give some points and all those stuff. So utilize it, uh, keep the rug structures as it is and don't try to make it uh, smooth. So let's have a little bit of uh, fact in our painting. Let's see, sometimes it comes out very nicely. Uh, the structure gives it a very very good painting. 
so i am uh, i created one more for mountain on the backdrop the third one uh, with lighter colors and now i'm giving the snow caps i can see how well it is coming with the card you can see uh, uh, the snow caps the red mountain so that's a uh, very good use for this card i directly uh, use the white colors so since we are using a wet on wet method it will mix with the below layers a little bit and give a very good and uh, realistic look to the mountains so i guess the mountains are coming out uh, very nicely and uh, the father mountain uh, with uh, light colors and giving little white to that one too it uh, mixed a little bit of uh, burnt sienna also to give a little brownish look to that mountain so guys coming to the uh, below area the uh, landscape below the mountains either uh, you can make it like a meadow or a farmland or a little bit of forest with a lake or maybe some farm houses and stuff or maybe other groups of smaller hills or mountains in the background so uh, but here i'm trying to create a lake actually so you can see i'm keeping the color grading as it is not going to bright green or bright uh, blue bluish uh, very sunny colors so uh, using only green and uh, uh, light blue white and this uh, color grading maybe a little bit of benson in between so i want to represent the lake here uh, maybe we'll draw some house and a little bit of bushes or trees uh, later on so uh, fill out the regions with uh, a little bit greenish but give a hint of blue also that's our uh, attempt here so a little bit of uh, blue mixed with uh, olive green and uh, white and burnt sienna maybe a little bit of russian blue here and there so follow this method let's see how it comes out and um, i started uh, creating some of the pine trees in the background so um, uh, let it be dark guys don't go with the green colors as you go further away either we can use a dark blue or light blue so the green tends to change to blue colors as we go further so i'm using a darker uh, uh, blue actually but a little bit mixed with the ones in attack you a little uh, shadow colors uh, like a little bit grayish because it's a cloudy day uh, it's not bright uh, uh, so bright sunny so uh, even the dark blue looks a little grayish so that's our attempt here and other thing you can see now how i'm trying to create a house here so i'm uh, utilizing the sides of the card so that is the big advantage of using uh, this flexible kind of plastic cards. So oh, utilize it as much as possible, guys. So the colors I'm using is uh, burnt sienna and uh, mixed with Russian blue. So utilize uh, those colors and uh, try to draw the straight line. You can see how the straight lines are coming up nicely in this car. That's one uh, very good advantage. Uh, um, maybe for the grasses you can use um, yellow or a very light uh, yellowish uh, green. Uh, maybe it's uh, winter coming up slowly to the valley. Uh, uh, the grasses are not going to keep very bright green and uh, stuff. So I'm using a little bit of uh, uh, chrome yellow and uh, olive green mix. Maybe the hint of white in all those colors to give it a uh, uh, cold look rather than a bright and uh, uh, hot and sunny look to the bushes and grass and you can see how on the left side I'm uh, drawing a lot of bushes uh, how the straight lines of the card is helping to create good texture for the long grass or bushes out here so uh, utilize those things guys and uh, bring in your imagination you can either draw a tree or grasses or bushes and uh, uh, meadows out here uh, instead of lake and uh, one of the trees i'm trying to create a pine tree here uh, rather than the usual tree you can see i'm utilizing the corner of the card so maybe you can uh, not comfortable with the card uh, for drawing trees and stuff you can very well go ahead and uh, use the brush so the idea here is to utilize the card fully so i'll be continuing with that one so try to finish the whole painting uh, with this card 
so guys anyway the final output is the key so if you find it uh, difficult in any of the areas to create using this pencil uh, card you can very well go ahead and dive some brushes uh, assignment required so try to create a beautiful painting so that's our aim so all the technique won't matter when you see the final output so um, i'm trying to create a tree with this card and mostly using burnt sienna and uh, uh, Russian blue. Maybe we'll give a little lighter colors for the uh, highlight regions later on. So guys, uh, see how very well we are using uh, old and uh, plastic card to create a beautiful painting. That's the whole idea of it. Enjoy and uh, I hope you will like this technique. Uh, and now I'm going to the like a little bit of uh, a water texture I'm creating using a white and uh, um, a little bit uh, burnt sienna also mixed to give a little grayish look and uh, don't draw too much of uh, straight lines uh, because I want to keep it like calm water uh, whitish and uh, light blue uh, well, we'll draw some more reflections later on guys so that's the idea and I'm trying to draw more branches with this card so let's see, uh, if you, once again guys, if you find it difficult to draw very small branches, uh, you can very well move to the brush. So use the corners, sides and edges along surface, so whichever is easy. And to try to create a tree, I guess uh, this tree should uh, give a very good uh, dynamic look to the paint. It's almost ready, I mean it gives some final touches and I'm giving the reflection of the pine trees here and uh, you can see a little uh, uh, white color gives the reflection of the mountains and the lake so I'm not giving a very sharp reflection of the mountains there I think uh, the white and light blue you can see the reflection uh, somewhat captured out there and the reflection of the pine trees too and uh, a little giving final touches a uh, little uh, dark regions with uh, Russian blue and burnt sienna and uh, it's almost ready guys so hope um, or got an idea of how to use this card and create uh, some sharper textures maybe once you are almost done with the painting maybe you can uh, let it dry and come back and finish off some more uh, details as required so maybe I myself uh, need to give some more details later on guys so uh, just to remind uh, we are using full return bit method that means we are not allowing the color to dry out fully and uh, then create the next layer. So uh, we are allowing a little uh, mixture of the previous layer. So that gives a good uh, texture to the paint. So we uh, try to give a little more uh, details to the house. Maybe I think uh, I may have to let it dry and then come back and give a little more details. So guys. I think uh, it's uh, done and ready. Hope uh, everybody likes it. It's time to remove the tape. So looks like it's uh, came out good. It's another uh, tool, another method. Hope all of you liked it. So guys, use a flexible card and uh, draw with uh, as much texture as possible. Just take this as an example and uh, utilize your creativity and imagination. Hope uh, you really like it. The texture gives the painting a very good dynamic look. Guys, if you like the work, uh, like our videos, uh, please consider subscribing our channel and uh, hit the bell icon <coughs> so that you will get all our uh, future videos. And uh, do check out some of our previous videos, uh, which will be uh, short and also go to our channel and uh, check out uh, some of the previous uh, videos for it will be very useful for you and uh, guys I'm sure you have liked it please try it out and uh, you can even try with the parrot knife too so hope everybody likes it guys uh, uh, that's it from uh, today let's wait for our next video thank you guys thanks for supporting goodbye see you